With a farewell bow from outgoing President Hu Jintao, the power transfer in China is complete. In his first speech as president, Xi Jinping called for a realization of the Chinese dream, a focus he says will bring the party back to the people. We must continuously realize, protect and develop the most fundamental interests of the people and develop the entire country, and make the fruits of development include all the people in a fairer way. The new government also says it will fight corruption, something that has distanced the party from the people of China. Quick action, observers feel, is needed to show that Xi Jinping means business. The first move he will make is on the anti-corruption front. And um, if he's able to um, arrest uh, the really senior officials, uh, whom he calls the, the big tigers amongst the corrupt officials, then he may be able to win uh, uh, an, an element of trust uh, from the people. Uh, but this is difficult because uh, most of his friends and cronies are uh, members of the uh, so-called red aristocracy. They are multi-billionaires. The Chinese leaders have set out their lofty goals for the next 10 years, but there'll be steps that need to be achieved before they can even think about reform and that Chinese dream. They need the support of party elders and those who have established alliances. Tasked with the day-to-day -day operation of China, Premier Li Keqiang in his first press conference said his focus was on economic growth. The highest priority will be to maintain sustainable economic growth. It can be expected that the economic environment facing China will continue to be serious and complex. We must be prepared for potential adversity and handle the changing situation in a calm fashion. China's growth may have slowed, but it is still the envy of many nations. But for long-term prosperity, it's going to need to focus on building up its domestic consumption and shrinking the wealth gap. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.